What is up guys, Ghost Predator here, welcome back to Madden 23. Today I've got an online game for you guys with my favorite team, the New York Giants. Sadly, they are one of the worst rated teams in Madden this year. They don't even have a superstar player, they are one of three teams without one. The other two, I believe, are the Detroit Lions and the Houston Texans, so... That just shows you that Madden does not have confidence in my team, but I have pretty good confidence in them. The season is kicking off this week. I cannot wait to see them play. They are playing against the Titans, but they will have a matchup with this team we are currently playing against right now. The Baltimore Ravens, a very good team with a very good roster. They have a very good defense, but an even better offense as Daniel Jones is getting sacked here. Looks like Justin Houston got in the backfield on that one. Sets up a very hard third down, and we are picked off here by, I believe, Malik Harrison. Looking for Galladay up the middle, but the user had it covered. So Lamar will have the ball on around midfield, and he hits James Prochet. I'm not sure if I said that right on the slant. Game of nine, next play runs for the first with J.K. Dobbins. Sets up first down at the 45 as Dobbins with another five yard carry there. Sets up second and five, Dobbins gets the handoff again. Fights for the first down but comes up a yard short. Next play, play action. Over the middle, this is Mark Andrews on the catch and Andrews to about the 21. So Ravens trying to capitalize on the turnover, try the bubble screen to James Proche, or Proche, I'm not sure how you say that. Can't get nothing, next play try an RPO, but it's covered. And Lamar goes down for a loss, next play another RPO play, but this ball was thrown way too late. The offensive linemen were illegally downfield, and that is a flag, a loss of five yards. Doesn't matter because Mark Andrews gets a nice catch there over a Dory Jackson. Sets up first and goal at the 7. Lamar trying to take off, but he's met by Tay Crowder and Leonard Williams there. So second and goal at the 5. Lamar with time trying to scramble up the middle, and he gets by the spy, Tay Crowder, and gets into the end zone for the first points of the game. Lamar Jackson doing us dirty. And he puts the Ravens up by seven. Less than four minutes to go before halftime. And the Ravens have a 7-0 lead. We're going to have to be more careful with the ball here. That last pick, I can't blame it on Daniel Jones. That was 100% on me as Barkley only getting one on that carry. This guy was blitzing a lot, so you'll see me motion a lot of players, especially the running back to opposite sides to pick up blitzers, and we find Wandale Robinson wide open there for a nice first down catch. Next play, swing past up Barkley, and Barkley with a pretty good gain there of about eight or seven. Sets up second and three at the 50. Barkley with the carry, fighting for the first down. He has it down at about the 46. Two minutes left before halftime. Here's Jones to Kenny Galladay. That's his first catch, I believe, and that's good for a first down at the 34. So first and 10, Jones with a wide open Kenny Galladay. I don't know what happened there. The zones just completely broke down, and Kenny Galladay wide open in the end zone. And just like that, extra point up and good. That will tie the game at 7 with a minute 26 left before halftime. I think this guy called a cornerback blitz and base aligned the defense. So that's why the zones were out of place there on that play. And how Kenny Galladay and Wandale Robinson got wide open on the right side. But this guy has plenty of time to at least tack on a field goal, but he's taking a sack there. I think that was Dexter Lawrence in on the sack. Three-yard loss. Doesn't matter, though. Wide open is Mark Andrews on the right, and he gets to about the 50 with 40 seconds left. So five wide for the Ravens. Bad throw by Jackson here, and this is picked off by Tay Crowder, and he sets us up at the 40. So we have a chance to tack on at least three points. We hit... Sterling Shepard on the slant. That's his first catch. Timeout with less than 30 seconds left. Daniel Bellinger, next play. Out of bounds at about the 15. 24 seconds left. Motioning receivers trying to get a touchdown, trying to take advantage of the 
blitzing defense this guy keeps using. But right here, bad pass. This is picked off by Marlon Humphrey, I believe. Looking for Wandale Robinson in the end zone, but well covered by Marlon Humphrey. But this guy's backed up all the way at the one, hands it off. Davis just barely, barely gets out of the end zone there. But nine seconds left, this guy's backed up. Doesn't matter, he hits Mark Andrews at the 20, and he does take it all the way to halftime. So we are tied up at halftime at seven. Both defenses playing good. Can we keep it up? A little screen pass here. That gets about seven. Sets up second and three. Here's Jackson, five wide. And Jackson to the right. This is intercepted by Adoree Jackson. And Adoree making the move on Lamar. And he's taking this one for six. And the Giants have the lead. Nice play by Adoree Jackson. Extra point up and good. And to start the second half, the defense makes a huge play to give us the lead. But how will Jackson respond after giving up that pick six? Doesn't get a good return here. As he's going to start at the 13. QB draw on first and 10. That gets about four. Five wide for the Ravens, over the middle. This one's picked off by Blake Martinez, who actually was released from the team last week. He no longer is on the Giants, but right there he does get us the interception. Sets us up with first and 10 at the 32. So here is Wandale Robinson after a Saquon Barkley gain of four. Robinson gains two on that play. Third down and four, over the middle. This is Kenny Galladay and Galladay with the first down inside the 20. So first and 10, Jones with time. Time running out though, and he is sacked. Not sh quite sure who was there on the sack, but good coverage downfield by the defense as Jones next play with time again. Over the middle, this is Galladay. Pushes in for the touchdown. Had four defenders on him, but somehow still pushes in for the touchdown, and that will put us up by two possessions. A minute 47 left in the third, and we do take advantage of the turnover. Nice throw by Daniel Jones, but great effort on Kenny Galladay's part to push for that end zone with four defenders on him. As Lamar looking to the left for Mark Andrews, he has the first down at about the 35. So the Ravens going to need some points on this drive here as Jackson over the middle. This one's caught by Rashad Bateman who breaks away. And he's got one man to beat to the end zone. He's in for the touchdown. Rashad Bateman. Probably the Ravens' number one receiver with Marquise Brown gone. And Bateman has cut the lead to seven just like that. So 103 left in the third as... Richie James Jr. not even going to take the kickoff out too deep. First play of this drive is a handoff to Barkley, but he's not getting much, only one. The Ravens have done well to contain him so far, and again, motioning receivers. You'll see me do that a lot to figure out what the coverage is. And tear the coverage down apart, so like right here. We see it's zone coverage. We attack the flat there with Daniel Bellinger. That gives us a third down, an easy three yards. But right here, bad pass again. This one's picked off off the deflection by Patrick Queen. Queen trying to take it into the end zone, but he's stood up there by Evan Neal and Daniel Jones. But do they delay the inevitable? I don't know. We'll find out as Jackson over the middle scores the touchdown with Mark Andrews. And yep. The Ravens do capitalize, and pending the extra point, may have tied the game up, and it is good. So, just like that, we are all tied up again, and the fourth quarter barely started. But we're going to have to recover there after throwing that pick. We've thrown about three of them at this point. Need to be more careful with the ball, and Barkley finally getting a good running lane there. Gain is six. Second and four. Here's Jones. To the left, this is Barkley stumbling, but does have the first down past the 35. So first and 10 for the Giants. Blitz coming. Nice pickup, though. Bad pass on my part there, and Patrick Queen breaks it up again. 
Second and ten, we catch this guy offside, so a free play, and it's a big one. Kenny Galladay on the right, past the 30 to about the 25. So catching this guy offsides, and we gain about oh, 40 yards there. And Saquon only gaining two on that carry. Meanwhile, Jones with time finds Kenny Galladay again on the right. Open for a first down at the 12. Meanwhile, next play, Barkley losing a yard. Not a good game for Barkley so far. So second and 11. This guy run committed for some reason, and that left the receivers wide open. Sterling Shepard gets the touchdown. We could have thrown it to any receiver, but I'm sure Shepard will take that touchdown either way. And we do retake the lead by seven with 2.15 left to go in the game. Certainly plenty of time, especially with three timeouts, to get seven to tie the game up for Lamar Jackson and his offense. He's looking deep for Bateman, but this is picked off by Aaron Robinson. Good coverage. And now we've got a chance to close the door on this guy. We need a few first downs, though, and we're not getting much there with Barkley. Only two. Next play. Handoff to Barkley again. Big hole up the middle this time. Past the 50 to about the 48. That sets up a first down. One more could put this game completely away, but right there, the Ravens send the house crashing, and that's a loss of three. Doesn't matter. Next play, Barkley gets those yards back, and then some third down and five. Critical play here. Barkley has the first down, and that in all likelihood will do it. We do run the ball a couple of times just to see what we can get, but... You know, unless if we lose the ball here, game pretty much over as Barkley going to try to soldier out a run there. But he is stuffed. That does end the game, though, guys. A great game, though. Really fun game to play. Um, great game to my opponent as well. He did play good. And this game could have definitely gone either way. We were coughing up the ball a lot. I think we threw three picks there. So, yeah, usually you don't win when you throw that many interceptions. But our defense did play good as well. And, yeah, we will take the win, guys. And, yeah, again, looking forward to the season starting. It is kicking off this Thursday with the Rams and the Bills. That'll be a great matchup to watch. As Daniel Jones there, over 200 yards, three touchdowns, three picks, though. Kenny Galladay, what a game for him. Six catches, 126 yards, and two scores. He certainly was a big bully to the Ravens' uh, defense. I almost said offense there. So two sacks allowed by both tackles and, well, one apiece, two sacks total. Tay Crowder, great game for him. Had a few tackles and a sack. And yeah, great game all around for everybody. And that is going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you're looking forward to watching this football season. Anyway, my name is Ghost Viper, and I will see you in the next one.